Scorpio, hey, let's do a tarot reading. How about it? For the month of December for the sign of Scorpio. That's right. What is a matter of importance in December for Scorpio? Tarot reading for Scorpio. We're going to do Celtic Cross, guys. Lantern Fairy. Why is everybody getting this? No. Okay. Well, I mean, it's a good, it's a good card. Autumn is my last chance. Please don't lose hope. Okay. So someone here is trying to understand if there is still something to be had between you guys. Mm -hmm. It's like, so are you still available? Um, do you still like me? Do you want to hang out? <laughs> That's kind of what I'm getting. Okay. Yeah, look, redemption. Goodness gracious, why? Okay, someone loves you, all right? Someone loves you or you love somebody. This is definitely about a love situation. This is somebody who feels like love should be put first here, okay? That's definitely what I'm getting. We have Lantern Fairy, a clear solution. 24 makes a six. We also have Autumn is my last chance. Please don't lose hope. So this could have to do with autumn, actually, or something happened during autumn. Doesn't have to. It's definitely someone wanting to know if there could be any growth here ever again, basically. I just did Sagittarius and they got, did they get these cards? Hmm. One of them, I think, okay. Redemption, absolution, forgiveness, and penance. A 20. So someone's sorry and they love, and they love, and they love. Love conquers all, enduring well to eternal love, lasting commitment. 24 here also makes a six. Okay, well. I want to know if this person's actually going to speak up here, whether this is you or someone else, Scorpio. You could be thinking about your past here, or your past is definitely heavily thinking about you from what I can see, okay? I feel like someone wants to open up communication. I don't necessarily know if they're going to do it. This feels almost like they are trying to understand whether or not there's going to be growth with you, and then they have their answer somehow, some way. So let's see what's happening here. Wow, Scorpio, you... You got the Ten of Swords on the backside, your current energies. So I feel like you're really um, analyzing and looking over something that has already ended and you're seeing it a different way. It's kind of like learning some certain things here, okay? Your challenge here is the back of the Four of Pentacles. This does have to do with releasing something. Maybe it's a grudge or a burden or a relationship, okay? Release the past. Um, from the heavens, you might be thinking about saying some mean things to people here. Oh, I could see why, because in the abyss here, we have the three of swords. Okay, Scorpio, you're on guard. Someone has hurt you, bruised you, wounded you. It's fresh. This feels fresh, or you still feel it like it's fresh. There's something here that you feel like is not cool. Okay, I also feel like some of you guys just have wounds reappearing, because this is someone who's looking at something that's already ended. Okay, recent past, we have the magician on the back, near future. Wow, ace of cups. <laughs> You and or your advice, you got the two of wands. Outside influences, back of the knight of swords. Who's that? Okay. Hopes, fears, feels. Okay, the five of cups. So definitely you feel a sense of loss or regret or remorse or something of the sort here. Eight of swords as your outcome. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck before we figure out... Scorpio, you may have... You may be like finding out about someone who doesn't want to be left out here from you. And you may not be affected by it. So I almost feel like maybe somebody's trying to reach you and they can't get through or you're kind of ignoring somebody in a way. I also feel like you may hear that someone is down and out and you don't really, you could not care less at this point. You're like, well, that's not my problem or something like that going on. Um, it feels almost like justified in a way. Could be on the back of the high priestess. It's almost like I knew this was ha would happen. I told you this would happen. Something like that. 
Wow, this is bringing my attention to that lantern right there, and we do have the lantern fairy. Someone is seeking answers from you, Scorpio, because someone has an offer to work together. Look at this. Yeah, but that's like a blueprint, so let's see what happens. You may not be speaking to this person, guys, because I keep seeing like, it's almost like you're in your own world if you look at this. Okay, what's going on with the the Ten of Swords here for my Scorpios on the back side? The Knight of Swords, okay. Six of Wands. Devil. Hmm, Nine of Swords here. Someone is real mad, Scorpio. It could be you. I feel like you're really upset. You're hurt by something, by someone. This is a, like a bad situation here. I also feel like it's almost like someone was repetitively doing things that you didn't like or caused you stress. Or you know what? This could be vice versa. Yeah, but it's almost like when you think back to you know, how things ended or why they ended or something, it's almost like you get mad. I feel like you're angry because of what's happened here. So someone does feel bad about this. They do feel bad or it causes some sort of stress thinking about what happened here. So I feel like twofold, whoever, you know, cause some amount of pain here, they want to make nice about it. But I also feel like maybe you're stressed when you think about these things, Scorpio, whatever this is. I feel it's almost like someone could be like a serial, I don't know, what is this? Like a cheater or someone is into some bad things or bad habits, something like that. I feel almost like, okay, this almost feels like someone is a bit, I don't know, it's like they only think of themselves or something like that, okay? So I feel like this could be a perception, right? Someone here thinks about themselves, they don't care how they affect other people, something of that sort, when in fact whatever happened here was detrimental, which from what I'm seeing with the Ten of Swords, obviously. Okay. But someone is high and mighty, really proud of themselves or whatever the heck. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles as a challenge. I'm also getting, let me tell you what I think. Okay. The Seven of Wands, Moon. So there's a relationship here that you're wanting to release. It's almost like there's a feeling about this relationship that you just don't like, whether it's uncertainty or negativity, something about a connection here that you don't feel good about at all. With the seven of wands, the moon, and the lovers. It feels like you're trying to release this. It's almost like don't come near me, don't confuse me. This is kind of what I feel. Don't confuse me with that love stuff. It is, this is what this feels like. So you could be dealing with a water sign. Well, we have Capricorn. We have um, water signs. We have Gemini. Let's see about this three of swords in your subconscious. Abyss. The three of cups. Oh, gosh. I feel like it's almost like you... First of all, we have two threes. So I do feel like maybe there's too many people involved or there's a concern about this, okay? I also feel like you decided to leave this relationship in search of something else that you wanted here. It's like, okay, this isn't, like, it's almost like love doesn't have to be painful. This isn't what I want here. It's gonna suck walking away, but I, I know this isn't for me. We do have this eight of cups. You're basically saying this isn't for me. Some of you guys may have opened up to dating or putting yourself out there um, or are looking forward to this. You do have the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Mm. 
let me ask something really quick because I almost feel like you may feel there were other people here, guys. Or someone's someone's appetite was too much. The tower. Yeah. I feel, so this is what this feels like. It's almost like it was happy, go lucky, you know, three of cups, happy, happy times, you know, celebrations. We, we like each other. We have fun together. And then suddenly it changed from daytime to night. And then it was like real drastic even. I feel like there's some sort of rude awakening about this relationship, especially subconsciously here. And then you're like, whoa, wait a minute. I, I don't, you know, I tap out. I don't want this. Okay. Tell me about this magician in the recent past. Scorpio. The three of swords. Yeah. See? The strength card. Someone broke an agreement to you here. Someone broke a commitment in the recent past. It's interesting because I feel like it was starting to grow or someone thought it was. It was. It was something that you guys were both working on. It's, I almost feel like, why would you agree to some sort of relationship if you're just gonna step out of it? That's what this feels like. My hand is itching right here. I don't know what it is. Happens sometimes in tarot. That's what this feels like. It's like, why, why even put efforts into something that is gonna... Ooh, even hurt. Okay, so this came to a close here in the recent past. All right, we got the world card. It's like, I don't want to feel this anymore. I don't want to be disappointed anymore. Um, if our relationship isn't going to grow or if it's not going to be a relationship or an actual commitment, something more traditional or standard in a sense, then I don't want it. I, you know, I tap out. Yeah, again, tapping out. Let's talk about this page of swords. This looks pretty aggressive. <laughs> that face, look at the face on this. It looks, okay. This looks like the most aggressive page I've ever seen. Honestly, it looks mad, right? Let's see what this is. But he also looks like Super Saiyan or something like that. Okay, we got the Fool card. I'm hearing I'm not surprised. So I feel like you're not surprised or it's like, it's almost like you have a realization or an idea about this situation and it's like, okay, well, maybe something like hindsight is twenty twenty, or I'm not surprised about this at all. I don't know why. I also feel like someone here is trying to reconnect with you and you're on guard. Oh, maybe that's why you're not surprised. You may not be surprised that this person's coming back around because you knew they would. That's pretty much what I'm seeing. You do have the full card here. So I feel like someone wants you to be like happy-go-lucky, like maybe you once were, okay? Um, but I feel like this is kind of a feat when you are looking like the Page of Swords here, okay? In this deck, it makes me feel like someone's upset and wanting to talk about it. I also feel like someone is looking to see if there's an opportunity with you. We have the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. It's like, hey, can can we uh, can we talk? <laughs> we have the Five of Pentacles here. So this is someone that you may not have spoken to. And the Ace of Cups is coming in the near future. Let's see what this is about because we just saw it. Let's see. For my Scorpios. There's something about youth here. I don't know exactly what it is. It's trying to say something about... Uh, maybe this is a draining situation or it's immature in a way or quite possibly someone's age. All right, let's see about this Ace of Cups in the near future. We have the Justice, the... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups. You gotta be kidding me. Scorpio, how do you take us to these depths and bring us back up again? All right, I'm tired of it. Ace of Cups with everything here. It looks like you got apologies coming your way. Someone's gonna be schmoozing it up, okay? There's definitely someone who wants to make things right. Um, there's a lot of apologies, a lot of good times coming in. Someone may actually come forward, bring you some sort of small token of appreciation. Um... There's playfulness, there's banter, there's romance, okay? Someone wants to, I heard, knock your socks off. Interesting. We got justice here, though. It's almost like someone feels like they owe you something. Why? 
or you feel like, okay, wait, why do they, in the past, this is, this is, this is someone who wants to say that maybe they abused their power in the past or they weren't being very nice. There's something like that going on. So what are they doing? They're saying that they've changed. Hold on now. Tell me about this justice. So this could be a water sign, guys. Doesn't have to be. I'm also seeing Libra. Yeah, this is definitely someone who is saying like, I've been inspired to change here. Let's have a good time. Um, seriously, someone is saying, I've been inspired and I want to change. Let's do this again, or let's at least have a good time. I see a good time here because they have the sun card. So people are going to be happy. People are going to feel like they're loved. And yeah, you definitely have that coming in here. Of course, you don't have to have it if you don't want it, but that's, that's near future. I would say pretty darn soon. Tell me about this two of wands in the advice. I honestly haven't seen such a romantic near future part in, I don't know if a very long time. Okay. So you got two of wands. Um, your advice is the nine of cups. Okay. There's something about you needing to make sure that you are well taken care of. Okay. I heard well to do. Okay. Why? This is interesting because I feel like you're going to be given what you want here. I feel like almost in a way you might be spoiled or pampered or there's something here that you're getting out of this relationship. And I do say relationship, you have the four of wands at the bottom of the deck. This may turn into something more committed for you. I also feel like for those of you that are not committing, this is more of just like a stability sense in general. So you may be wanting to focus on that. Tell me more about this. Because I see you in the nine of cups. It's almost like you're in a solo energy, but I also feel like you're being, you have some, I don't know. Is it an agreement or something like that? Does that make sense? It's like you're, you're solo, but you also have some sort of agreement with somebody. Yeah. Somebody definitely wants to work on the challenges of the past here. That's just it. So maybe that's um, some sort of requirement. I don't know. You could be saying, hey, let's work out the kinks of the past here. Or you're trying to make sure that things can be worked out in the past. There's something about that going on, guys. I don't know. I still see you in kind of like, this is in your power. If you're in the strength card energy, you're in control here. And also the queen of pentacles, I'm seeing you as kind of more autonomous. This is definitely more of like an independent energy, especially paired with the nine of cups. So I see you having everything you need, but also like maintaining your independence in a way, which I don't know how else to explain because I feel like someone's coming at you wanting more than that, or at least presenting more than that. It could be that someone is like trying to um, set something up for you, give you some sort of stability in some sense also. You know what I'm saying? Could be that. Um, let's see about this Knight of Swords and the outside influences. Because that's backside. Queen of Swords. The six of cups and the four, yeah, the four ones. Someone's wondering if you guys can like be in a relationship. Some of you guys are dealing with somebody who's leaving something else. And wanting to reconcile with you. This is a reconciliation. It's almost like they realized they wanted to work things out with you, but they weren't able to. So bizarre. Let me see. I 
feels like they're cutting ties with something else, someone else, something like that going on. But it's because they want to see if they can work things out with you. I'm serious. You got the six of cups and the four of wands here again. I'm talking about you. There's the four of wands. And I talk about this person. This is the one who's offering the four of wands. So I feel like they're trying to say that they don't want any more in and out or like sloppiness like that. Tell me about this five of cups. Hope, um, hopes, fears, and feels. Yeah. The two of wands, the two of cups, nine of swords. Okay. So I feel like the past of this situation has really got you quite concerned. I could see why. Um, wow. It feels like you need more information, Scorpio. Maybe that's why you're over here with this strength card. It's almost like you're not convinced. I mean, once bitten, twice shy. You know what I mean? And especially for a Scorpio. But the Five of Cups indicates that there is some regret from the past. Something that's happened here between you and this person or your past even, you're still feeling concerned about. And now you're kind of like, so what am I going to choose? Which way am I going to go? Am I going to actually link up with this person? Is this my soulmate? And you know, you got two and two here. It feels like someone is trying to get rid of someone and kind of concerned about doing that. So maybe... Exiting a situation is not easy. I don't know. All right. So yeah, I feel like there's something about this. You're just like, man, it's not, you know, it's not what they're saying it is. So you feel that way. I definitely see this person advancing towards you though. I mean, I also see that it would take efforts because we keep seeing some five of wands in there with all this um, past energy. Let's see about this eight of swords and the outcomes. So there's some sort of release happening here, Scorpio. What are you doing? Page of swords. Hmm, Scorpio. This is interesting because we also have the eight of swords on the bottom of the deck. So... You feel almost like you kind of want to see where things go, but you also are not going to overexert yourself. And it's probably due to how you feel and what's happened here with this person. It's almost like you're not convinced. I mean, you're just not convinced. Okay. You have the Ace of Wands with the Four of Cups and the Page of Swords. It's almost like uh, the offer's there, but you're not necessarily running with it, even though you're being presented with it. And the Page of Swords can sometimes be like a bit of um, a feeling as well. So to me, this would be like, I don't know about this. I'm suspicious or I just want to see how this works out for, you know what I'm saying? There's something like that going. So you're suspicious or you're just not convinced. You're wanting to see how things play out first for a while. So this is definitely just know that the offer is there, but the outcome is almost like a bit of stagnant energy, I will tell you that, okay? You may connect with them on certain levels or think about connecting with them on certain levels, but I also feel like there's... Mm, it's just that suspicion, Scorpio. I love y'all so very much, Scorpio. Feel free to check your other placements, your friends, your family members, your neighbors, your coworkers, peeping Tom, peeping Tony down the street. Check their placements too so we know what they're up to. Kisses. Love you. Bye.